Hey everybody, a lot of people have old historical photos of grandparents or great grandparents and they're not in that great a shape and they scan them into their computers and they would like to restore those images. How can we do that right now in Photoshop? And by the way, what is coming down the pike that will help with using AI in these programs? And hopefully they're gonna do a really good job. So I'm gonna show you how I went from this image right here and I cleaned it up to end up with this image right here. Are we ready for this? Let's do it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, this is dedicated to photography and as a photo artist pushing ourselves to think creatively out of the box. Okay, this came across my desk a few weeks ago and uh, I had to find an old image. I think I got this from Adobe years ago. Don't hold me to that. But um, the, the, the trend that's happening lately is with a lot of uh, photographers and just, um, just uh, people at home that want to restore some of their old historical photos or finding of their grandparents, maybe great grandparents, and they're not in the greatest shape and they're scanning them into Photoshop or their computer and they want to use Photoshop to clean it up and jazz it up and what can we do with that? So we're going to use this image right here and I'm going to um, work on it a couple different ways for you to show you some options that you have. As long as you get the results you want, it's fine. But one method might be faster than others. So let's dive in here and take a look at this. So with this image here, there's a lot of dust and scratches here that we need to remove and try to enhance this image. So what I'm going to do before I get started, because I'm going to do this a couple different ways, image drop down menu. I'm just going to choose to uh, duplicate this. And um, I'll just leave the generic name because this is, again, just for demo purposes only. And with that selected, that is, let's start with the very first one here. And one of the things that we could use logically, because, you know, this is a fairly new tool. I mean, a few years ago, we didn't have it. And that is this tool right here called the Remove Tool. And so we could, let me just do this. Um, I'm going to duplicate the layer. So we do a quick before and after. And I could just hover over that and it's going to process that spot. Let's see how it's doing. Okay, so I might go over a larger area. But then you got to be careful when you get into the face and, and uh, like the shoulder here. Oops, that didn't work. Let me undo that. Let me make this smaller. And let me get in there and do that again. Okay, that worked better. So you got the idea. I mean, we could go through this. Um, might have to, you know, just take our time in these different areas and, and hopefully it comes out well. And if it doesn't, undo it. But that's one way that we can actually approach this. A different way that's been around for quite a while. Let me go over to... Um, let me delete this and um, Photoshop. All right, let's dive back into Photoshop. Let's do an old school way. So this, um, I just had duplicated the image here. So this is what we're going to work on. And one of the features we can grab, let me just uh, do Control J, Command J on a Mac again to duplicate it. And then I'm going to go to the filter drop down menu here. And I'm going to choose a feature that we've had for years. And you go to the noise category on the flyout, you're going to choose dust and scratches. Now, when this opens up, let me move the sliders all the way to the left so we can see the image. And what you do is you take the radius right here and slowly move it to the right. And you're looking at all the distractions. So I'm just moving that till I see that just all that almost just went away. And then threshold, let me move this way to the right so you can see it's bringing back a lot of the, um, say, detail in there. So it's sort of a judgment call on how you slide this back and forth. Uh, so if I pull it to the left, you can see what's happening more to the right. Um, I might say, okay, that looks pretty good, say right there. Okay, and then I click on okay. And I'm done. Perfect. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm just kidding. Okay, this is just to start. Now that I have that done, what I want to do is open up our history panel. So I'm going to go over here to open up history. You can also go to your Windows drop down menu and find history there. And what I want to do is take a snapshot right here, this moment in time in history when I applied the dust and scratches. So I'm going to click on that. And it made a new snapshot up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the checkbox to move this brush icon in there. So now that's selected. And I'm going to go back in time. So I'm going to go back here to the layer copy. So this is what we started with. So just 
as a reminder, I'm back to the original, but I'm going to use what's called a history brush, not the art history brush, but the history brush, and it's going to paint back this information. So over here, if we come down here, we have two brushes, the history brush and the art history brush. We're not using the art one, just the history brush. And what that's going to do is going to paint back the dust and scratch area. So you see, as I swipe across here, it's taking care of all the items that you know are distracting. So all the dust and any scratches we might have. Let's check out the shoulder. Whoop, how easy was that? So this is just a different way that we've been able to do for years. And I'm going to complement this by using a couple of the filters that we looked at earlier. So I'm doing this fast, not that accurate. Let's go across there and across the eyebrow there. And it looks pretty good. Okay, now they have that done. Let me close out of the history panel right there. Let's do it the third way, which is, in my opinion, the better way. And uh, unbelievable, this beta version did not work well at all. Just a week or two, there was an update. And now you got to check this out. So watch this. We're going to go, uh, again, I'm going to work on this image here. Going to go to filter. And we're going to come down to something called neuro filters. When this opens up, you'll see down and toward the bottom here, photo restoration beta. And this did not work for me at all. I played with the sliders and did all sorts of things and just flat out wasn't working for me at all. And then I got an update and check this out at the top of the dialog box here where it says photo enhancement, enhance face and scratch reduction. Check it out. Let it render out, see what it does. Unbelievable. There's some other adjustments right here. Noise reduction you could play with. Um, there's no color noise reduction in this, obviously, because it's a black and white. Uh, JPEG artifacts, if there's any there. Um, I got a little spot there, so let's see if I can move that out a little bit. Let render. Well, if not, I could just, you know, I could fix that up at all. But uh, not a bad thing. And it's going to go to a new layer right here. So I'm going to click on OK to accept that. And there you go. Before, after, before, after. Now we take care of that little speckle there. That's easy, you know, with the remove tool and that. But how about that? I mean, I love this. I'm glad they're doing this for this reason. Competition is coming on big time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you a, <clears throat> a quick little video I recorded on a plugin that I use a lot with uh, Photoshop you've seen me use in the past and it's called it's by Skyloom software and it's called Luminar Neo and they're adding some new features this fall when I don't know but when it comes out this fall I'll do a quick video regarding you know this image right here but it does restoration and adds color to your image if you want you can always convert back to black and white so let's take a look at Luminar Neo and what they're going to offer us this fall so you can see right here in Luminar Neo, you just click and drag your image into the restoration dialog box, hit restore, and that's what it does. Here's a couple more images. I hope this stuff works the way they're showing it. I think it's a great feature. Okay, people, hopefully you've learned something. If you could do me a favor, and that is please like the video, subscribe to you. If not subscribed, hit that notification bell. Next time I upload a video, you'll get notified that. And consider supporting the channel by going to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Stephen Photo Artist. The links will be in the show note. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for the people that have been supporting the channel by buying a coffee or two. I really, really appreciate that. Until next time, see ya!